Hi everyone, today's topic is linear block codes. We can see how to solve the problem in linear block codes. Before that, we can brush up uh, some in, uh, introduction about linear block codes. There are two types of codes, error deduction and correction and error deduction and retransmission. Error, de error correction codes do will do both detection and correction. That uh, the codes which do both reduction and correction belongs to second method that can be divided into block code and convolutional codes. Under block codes, we will be getting the linear block codes. Okay, so linear block codes. What is linear block code? Linear, uh, a code can be set as linear block code which should has the following properties which should or must have a following property first is the sum of two code words belonging to the code is also a code word and second property is all zero code word is also a code word and third one the distance between two code word is equal to minimum weight of the code that is uh, we have to know what is distance and uh, weight of the code that is uh, for example you can you can see here example consider the code and they have given a code word a set of code word uh, the and said it is a block code with n is equal to 4 that is number of bits in a code word is equal to 4 check whether it satisfies all the three properties we can see uh, now we can see what is that minimum distance and minimum weight here. So here first we are going to see what is minimum distance. Minimum distance in the sense the distance between two code words should be known that is uh, generally if you want to know the distance between some points we have we should know what is the starting point and what is the ending point likewise we should have two code words to define the distance so we can take these uh, first code word as double zero and double zero and second code word as one zero and one zero so uh, now can we find this uh, the first one is double zero double zero and one zero one zero. We have to compare these two codes, and in this code, uh, we should we should count in which are the positions the bits have changed. Then, uh, in how many positions the bits change, then that is uh, called minimum distance. Uh, we can compare now. So first, here first bit is zero, and here the first bit is one. So one bit has changed, and second is zero, and second is zero. It it doesn't change. So third one is 0 and third one is 1 here. So it changed. So two bits were changed. And fourth one is 0, fourth one is 0 here. No change. So the number of positions the bits have changed is 2. So the minimum distance between these two code words is 2. Okay. Then we have to find out the minimum weight of the code. So minimum weight of the code. That is nothing but it's very simple. Uh, we don't need two code words to compare uh, that can be compared here in one code word we should find out minimum weight of the code we need only one code word we don't need to compare with any other so weight of this first code word is how many number if number of ones present in a code word will define the minimum weight so here in the first code word or are zero so minimum weight is zero and second one it this code word has two ones so minimum weight of the code is two and here minimum weight of the code is 2 and here in the last code word the minimum weight of the code is 4 because 4 ones were present in the code word uh, now to solve the problems in uh, linear block codes we have to know what is generator matrix parity check matrix syndrome and error pattern these four things should be known to find out the problems or to solve the problems in linear block codes. First thing is generated matrix. Usually they will be giving your generated matrix and received word word and then they will ask you to find out the transmitted word. So for example, here is an example for uh, 
for the binary 23 comma 12 code the total number of code words are 2 power k that is 2 power 12 which is equal to 4096 and this 12 can be identified from the dimension of the code this binary code will be represented as n comma k code so this is n and this is k n comma k code so the formula is 2 power k so 2 power 12 you will be getting 4096 so here is the example first one they have given a generator matrix and they are uh, they are asking uh, us to find the code vectors and first thing generator matrix for a 6 comma 3 block code is given and find all the code vectors of a code so what i have said already is to solve the problem we should know what is generator matrix and parity check matrix error pattern and syndrome yes here is the example to 6 comma 3 code the generator matrix is given below the received word is given find the transmitted information word this is what uh, important question so they have given this generator matrix from this we have to find out the solution first thing we have to write what are the things they have given that is given data first the given data is g they have given and the received word have that has been written and i said already first we have to know what is g that was given by the questioner and then we have to know what is h that is parity check matrix here h represents the parity check matrix the formula for parity check matrix is p transpose into i i represents the identity matrix and p represents parity matrix from the given generator matrix we can divide this matrix as parity part and identity part we can easily find out this identity part from the identity matrix identity matrix that, uh, that is in the di only the only one will be present in the diagonal shape so we have to divide the generator matrix as identity and parity after dividing we have to find out this parity check matrix the formula for parity check matrix is p transpose into i and you know what is p we have to write this parity in the transpose manner that is row into column so i have written this and then into i so this identity matrix is as it is here so now what you know as h matrix and then what we have to find out as syndrome syndrome that is nothing but the formula for syndrome is r into h transpose r is nothing but received word that was given by a questioner and h transpose is nothing but this you know what is h and you can uh, find out what is h transpose that is uh, these rows can be written in a column manner so the formula for syndrome is r into h transpose that is your received word that is multiplied with h transpose so in this manner this is your received word and this is uh, h transpose they should be multiplied the multiplication will be in, in first row first column first row second column and first row third column so the you will be getting your syndrome as 110 and then last part in finding out the transmitted word is syndrome is equal to e into h transpose that is error pattern that is the last point i said you have to find out the error pattern error pattern is nothing but you can easily find out this error pattern that is uh, you have to you have to know uh, uh, what is the number of bits in the received word okay well, in, in this question you have to know what is the number of bits in the received word that is one two three four five or six okay so six words so you have to form the error pattern like from zero initial zero six bits so six bits are there one two three four five six six zero bits and start with one we have to shift this one till last one last one okay well. so from the first the one should be shifted till the last bit and the syndrome part is nothing but your h transpose is the syndrome part after having this tabular column you have to find out you you already have a value for syndrome right s is equal to 110 you have to check whether this 110 is present in